Okay, hey guys. So this is how to use the green screen on CapCut. And let's go to import and under import in stock material, I'm going to go to the life section and choose one video. And then I'm going to head over to green screen. And let's say I want to choose an outro like subscribe. And so I'm going to drag that onto the timeline. But what you'll notice is when we play it, you'll see the stock footage and then suddenly you'll see the green screen on top of it. But what we want is to somehow get rid of the green so that only subscribe is overlaid on top of the stock footage. So you'll first want to make sure that you click the green screen footage and then in the top right corner make sure you're in video and under video go to remove background section and under that section click on chroma key. Simply click on the color picker and just choose any area of the green and all the green part is gone and now you've got subscribe overlaid on top of your stock footage. You can of course change the intensity to your liking but in this case, everything looks really good. But let's try another one. And this time we're going to put the 2023 green screen into the timeline and do the same thing. Click the video, go to the top right corner under, under video, go to remove background and chroma key. Click on the color picker, click anywhere on the green screen. There you go. 2023 overlaid on top of the stock footage. However, this time you might notice that there's still a little bit of green on the edge around the numbers. So we want to clean that up. Now there are a few options you can use and if you have pro version you can use clean up edge and feather edge which helps to remove any leftover green and if you don't have pro version you can try to adjust the intensity settings to try and improve and clean it up. And now as you can see the final result it's much cleaner and you don't see any more of the green edges. And that's how you use green screen in CapCut. So I hope this was helpful for anyone out there. Please give a like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the section down below, and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time.